Let's see what's going on with my water softener. Oh boy. That's not good. Recently, I installed these shelves on the back of my garage. I'll put a link to that video at the end of this video. But that's not what today's video is about. Today's video is about my water softener. As I was putting these shelves in, I noticed some water on the floor. And that's when I saw this. You can see my water softener has a bit of an issue. It's not draining properly. Now because my brine tank is full of water, that tells me that my water softener is not cycling properly. It's not drawing the brine water to recharge the system. So I suspect the problem is inside of my Venturi valve. Let me show you where that's at. With the cover off, you'll find the Venturi valve right on this side. I've bypassed my water. To remove the Venturi valve, I need to remove this keeper and disconnect the water line. The most common problem with the Venturi valve is the gasket that sits on the bottom. We're going to take this apart so we can replace it. Now that gasket is what allows the Venturi valve to create the pressure that draws the brine water to recharge your system. These are the replacement gaskets that I picked up off of Amazon. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below. This is a three pack and they were under $15. Let's take this Venturi valve apart. Here is the part number for my Venturi valve. The gaskets I selected off of Amazon have a cross-reference list. Just check that to make sure that these are going to work for you. To take this apart, I'm going to unscrew the cap. Now there's a filter that sets in there, and I'm just going to lay everything out the way it comes out. Notice that there's a key slot that keeps everything together. And there's our gasket. I'm going to use some pliers to pull this guy out. Here's a close-up look of the old gasket. It's pretty worn out. There's a little screen filter that we're going to need to put back in the new gasket. With the screen back in its hole and the flow plug concave side down, I just lined up the old gasket to the new gasket. And we're just going to place it right in there. And it has a slot for the key as well. And now I'll reinstall the parts in the order that I took them out. And they're all going to line up to that key. And then we'll put the cap back on. And we'll hand tighten this. We'll attach the water line. And now we'll reinsert it. And I'll reinstall the clip. Now I'll turn the bypass off so that the system has water and I'll plug the unit back in. Now I'm going to force the system to recharge. Now I'll just wait for the system to run a recharge cycle and see if that corrected our problem. After running a full recharge cycle, the water has gone away and the water softener has corrected itself. And the problem was in fact the Venturi valve gasket. Now that you know how to disassemble and reassemble your Venturi valve, follow the instructions that are on your water softener for regular cleaning and maintenance. Here's the video link for the shelving that I recently installed. If you liked today's video, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to support the channel, subscribe. I'm glad you watched and I hope you'll watch again.